Welcome, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make basic flan. It's like a very creamy vanilla custard. Now to get this started, you're going to need a cup and a half of whole milk, one 12 ounce container of evaporated milk, one 14 ounce container of sweetened condensed milk, one half cup of sugar, eight ounces of cream cheese, one teaspoon of pure vanilla, and four eggs. Now we're going to use two whole eggs and two yolks. Now, let me show you how we're gonna prepare the dishes. First, we're going to liquefy our sugar in a non-stick skillet over medium heat. I'm adding the sugar into our skillet. We're going to stir this around until the sugar begins to melt and becomes golden. This will take about seven minutes. I'm using four 16 ounce ramekin containers to bake our flan in. Now back over here where the sugar is liquefying. The sugar has almost melted and it's become this golden color. Sugar has melted and we're going to quickly add about a tablespoon or so each in our ramekins. As long as the bottom of our ramekins are coated with the sugar here. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so delicious. And if you want, you can even roll them around to make sure they come up on the edges. Okay, now for the filling. I'm adding the cubed cream cheese. As you can see, I've cubed it four different ways and sliced it down the center. And I'm going to beat this on high for the next one minute. The one minute's up and this is how it should look. Remember, you don't want to overbeat it. To the cream cheese, we're adding the two whole eggs and the two yolks. On medium speed, you're going to blend this well together. Now you can see it's just combined. And I've used a rubber spatula to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Remember, you don't want it frothy and you don't want to overbeat it. We're going to add the milk, the sweetened milk, I want to make sure you get it all out. So I have this tiny little spatula I use and I just absolutely love this little thing because it gets all that goodness out of everything you're having to get out of a can or a cup or a spoon if it sticks. And we're going to add the evaporated milk. Now on low, we're going to mix this together for one minute. You don't want it to get frothy as you use your mixer here. Actually, my mixture was getting frothy on me and I'm just deciding to use a whisk. You just wanna incorporate it for a minute. Halfway through, you're gonna add your teaspoon of vanilla. I just eyeball it, but if you'd like to use a measuring spoon, that would be great. And if you see any lumps down in here, no big deal. Now. This is ready for our ramekins. I'm adding my ramekins into this nine by 13 inch pan because we're gonna bake this in a water bath. And now slowly, I'm adding the, mic the milk mixture about a fourth of a way to the top of the ramekin. And literally, this really makes six 16 ounce containers ramekins, but today I'm just making four. I've decided to add my water here into the baking pan until it comes about two inches up on the side of your ramekins. And now it makes it just a whole lot easier. And we're going to slowly push in the oven rack. Be careful and let this bake for one hour. No peeking. I'm removing the flan from the water bath and we're gonna wipe off the ramekins. And as you can see in the center here, you can see that the center is kind of still a little jello-like, but we're gonna sit them here on a cooling rack and as they cool down, it's gonna continue cooking. Then once it's completely cooled, we're going to cover each ramekin with plastic wrap and we're gonna put them in the refrigerator for eight hours or more, no more than 20, before serving. 
I just removed my flan from the refrigerator. It's been in there for eight hours and I'm just going to uncover it and take a paring knife and I'm going to work the paring knife around the edges of the flan here as you can see. Alright, now we're going to flip a plate upside down and turn this upside down and it should pop right out and look how beautiful that turns out. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, can't wait to give it a try. Dig in with a fork. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful and creamy that is on the inside. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's got that lovely vanilla custard texture and taste. It has this caramelized flavor from the liquefied sugar. It's absolutely one perfect dish that will satisfy anyone's sweet tooth. Hey y'all, I'm Deron with Foods 101. Thanks for watching. Give me thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you next time.